Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. Right, there's something a little different. I've been noticing a trend lately of gamers who are now turning to IEMs. Instead of full-on gaming headsets, we're now gaming with IEMs. So what I want to do today is I want to review a set of them. So I went out and picked up myself the KZ ZS10 Pro X. And these are a pretty affordable pair of IEMs. They currently retail for about £50 on Amazon. And they're made by a company called Linsol. So... What we'll do is we'll get into a little bit of unboxing of these and we'll give them a sound test and we'll pit them against my Astroware 40s, my DT77 Pros and an old pair I used to use for vocal tracking. Now, these are very, very cheap ones. These were literally just there so I could hear a monitor sound in my ears. These ones are supposed to have 10 drivers, armature drivers at that. So why don't we get in, do the unboxing, and then we'll do a sound test and see how they are. Catch you on the other side. Right then, guys, so here we are. This is what we've got. We've got pretty basic generic boxing with the branding on there, the KZ ZS10 X Pro, or Pro X rather. Now, I say generic branding. This is the old version, what I bought for vocal tracking, for something indiscreet to go into your ear to monitor for when either singing or I think just so you can track your vocals. And these are dual drivers, dual armature drivers, and not very good for gaming. So what we got now is the new ones. Now, these ones are supposed to be quite good for gaming. What we've got in here is 10 armature drivers. I think one handles bass and then the other's just hand off, just balanced. But we shall see when we go into the sound test if these things are actually any good. Specifications are there on the back. We've got an impedance of 29 and a sensitivity of 112.6 decibels. And the frequency response is from 20 hertz to 40,000 hertz. So, yeah, let's just have a look and see what we get in the package and then we'll give it a sound check. So, yeah, experience is just like the last ones. We shall come back to the buds themselves, see what little extras we get. Obviously, we get our cable. Now, these can be quite fiddly. They twist and turn on themselves and gets a little bit annoying. You can't even get into the bag yet. Yeah, exactly like the others. It's interesting because a lot of IEMs, they have memory wire. This just has a little bit of plastic around the wire. Still very practical. It holds them in place and obviously... You use the two pins to plug your earbuds in. And a standard 3.5. So, let's have a look at the buds themselves. Now, they are pretty good looking buds, to be fair. But, they are very similar to my old ones. If I just bring these in here. And... The wire's the same, and the buds pretty much look the same, so I'd hate to think I got these mixed up and had one version in one ear and the other in the other ear. Right, let's remember which hand's which. There we go, that's easy. Black tip, white tip. So, yeah, they're very similar. Weight-wise, they're very similar, too. There's not much to differentiate them between each other at all. But hopefully the sound difference is a lot different. And that's what we're hoping for because, like I said, I've seen a lot of people using these for gaming. If they are any good for gaming, they live up to the DT770s. So we'll give them a go. We'll stick the old ones in there before we get them mixed up. And we'll just ship them off to the side. Now, looking around, you do get 10 drivers in this. Armature drivers similar to what they use in hearing aids and such. The exact spec of each driver, I'll have to search. But, guys, for £50, if these are any good for gaming with to hear them footsteps on Call of Duty or whatever your game of choice is, if the sound stage is wide enough, you should be able to get some good separation and pinpoint where them footsteps are, where the explosions are coming from, where the gunshots are coming from. That's the idea of a good pair of headphones. So we'll see if they do the job. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. You get a little bit of documentation in there. You get some extra earbuds, as usual. All silicon, no foam ones, unfortunately. And you just simply 
I say simply, but I'm blind as a bat, so it's not that simple for me. Clip it on and put it in your ear. And away you go. You're ready. Right. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a sound test. I'm going to run this through a rigorous test and compare it against my other headphones and we'll see how we fare up. And then I'll meet you on the other side for a conclusion. So there we have it guys, I've done the sound test and what I found was actually quite surprising because I'm sat here reviewing the Kia S10 Pro X, what I found is for less than £30 the ZSM Pro Xs were actually quite efficient at gaming. Now I never thought I'd try these for gaming before but they were actually quite good, very very clear and guys less than £30 I think I paid £22 for these or roundabouts, and they were really impressive. And did they compare it to the Bear Dynamics DT770 Pro as well? No, these things are simply phenomenal. The sound stage on these is so wide. Directional audio cues are so easy to read. The crystal clear, the finest details you can hear. That's why I got these. They're not a fun sound. They're not really bassy. They are monitoring headphones mainly. And for being closebacks, the sound separation and the wideness of them, the, the sound so wide for closebacks, they're simply phenomenal. And then we go on to the Astro A40 TRS Gen 4s. Now these are, to be honest, they're disappointing. It goes to show the difference between a normal headphone and a gaming headset. These are very, very muddy, in my opinion. I'll give them the due, I don't use them with the proper mix amp, so that may make a difference. But for me personally, running them through my ordinary amplifier, they just, the smallest details are lost, and you've just got that explosion of bass, so when you're playing a game, you just hear the explosions going off left, right and centre, and pinpointing where the sound's coming from is a lot harder with these for me. So, a little bit disappointing, if I'm honest. But still a good headphone overall, I suppose, if you like that bassy sound. And to the reason we hear, the ZS10 Pro Xs. Now, for £50, what were these like? Actually, surprisingly, they were quite good. The clarity was really good. I mean, you've got that 10mm dynamic driver, plus you've got four balance drivers in each ear, which help with the mids and the highs while not losing the lows. And although they're not very low, the bass does get lost somewhere along the line. I like that because the explosions aren't overpowering the whole thing. It still gives you the finer details. Now, I did find they were a little screechy on the top end, but I suppose with a bit fine tuning, that could be fixed. But as for gaming with these, gaming, listen to music's good with these as well. But if you want to game with these, like people have been, 
I honestly don't see why not. I think they're very viable. And for £50, it's cheaper than most headsets. Even the budget headsets now are reaching £50. And yes, these are a budget pair of IEMs. But for the price, they design differently to gaming headsets. Gaming headsets has one cause in mind, and that's to create rumble, to create an exciting sound in your head. These are designed more for audio, so it covers a wider spectrum. So the tuning on them, yes, it's very V-shaped, I would say. But for gaming, I'm quietly impressed. Right, let's see the fit and finish of them. Like I said, there's no memory wire, but you do get that plastic around the wire, which holds them firmly on your ear. So as you can see, it just hooks around. And putting them in, they are quite comfortable. They don't go too far down, but they create a nice seal and they don't look too bulky in the ear. Fatiguing, I wouldn't say so. I mean, they're light enough. I don't think you're going to feel any fatigue from them. They do do quite a good job of blocking out sounds around you, so isolation's not so much a problem. But all in all, would I buy these? Well, yes, I did. <laughs> but would I recommend you buy them? It depends on the type of gaming headset you currently use. If you're using a high-end headset, then no. But if you're looking for an upgrade from a lower tier or even a mid-tier gaming headset and you want to try something different, see if you can get them audio cues, that direction, without getting bombarded by explosions and gunfire, which is nowhere near you, then I would say try them. Because you too might be pleasantly surprised. Anyway, guys, on that, I'm going to shoot off it in the background. Thank you very much. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.